two, one. Well, it was a really quick start for the Greene County Rams tonight. They returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown and uh, continued to cruise from there. And I'm now here with Coach Duncan for Greene County. And, Coach, uh, right from the get-go, your guys came ready to play. Yeah, guys were fired up. Uh, we knew this was going to be, a, you know, a good competitive game against a really talented team. Uh, we were focusing on, try, you know, trying to fa uh, start fast, um, be really, uh, be really focused, and execute really well at the beginning of the game. And I think they did that tonight. And uh, your your defense was able to hold Clorinda's offense. That's normally a really good rushing offense, intact for the most part tonight. Uh, a few big runs here and there, but uh, for the most part, did a really good job of slowing down Tayden Brown, who's one of the better runners uh, in Southwest Iowa. Yeah, you know, defense is doing a great job. We came in knowing that they had some great athletes on that side of the ball, so we were trying to limit their big plays. Um, they did get a couple on us, but um, kept that kept the zero in the scoreboard. And I think that's three straight games our defense has kept up the opponent uh, off the off the scoreboard completely. So really proud of those guys. They're flying around, uh, being physical, um, tackling pretty well, and just not giving those guys uh, the big plays that they're looking for. Uh, anything else key takeaways from the game? I think the only thing maybe that I saw was that missed extra point after the opening touchdown. I'm sure you probably saw a few more things. Yeah, definitely. You know, still some stuff to, to clean up. Had that that extra point. Um, we had a couple little injuries. Um, just a couple things um, that are holding us back from really, I think, excelling. But can't be too too upset with a with a game like this. They they perform pretty really well, and I'm proud of the guys. Um, any thoughts heading forward with uh, Red Oak? Obviously, you want to celebrate this one, but uh, Red Oak coming up next week. Uh, thoughts on that one? Uh, we know they're improved. You know, last year they were really young uh, when we played them. They were actually ahead on us 14-0. Um, so we know we can't take them lightly. Um, they're going to come in. They're going to be fired up. Um, and they are uh, very, very much improved from last year. So it should be a challenge. Coach, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Thanks. You could stop that one. One. And now I'm joined by Jackson Morton and Richard Darty, uh, uh, as I knew I was going to mess that up. Um, but uh, you guys both uh, played a really good game, both scored a couple of touchdowns. We'll start with you, um, Richard. You returned the opening kickoff, um, like 80, 83 yards or something it was. Uh, I think it was like a, it bounced to you or you had dropped it momentarily or whatever happened there but you're able to take that all the way uh, just explain that moment and uh, how you were able to uh, get to the end zone oh uh, well when I picked up the ball right away I saw a hole because my blockers did an amazing job uh, uh, they did an amazing job blocking I saw a hole so I hit it and then from then on it was just speed and um, you also were able to have a 71-yard touchdown reception. It looked like the defense maybe had lost you. I think it was a third down and long. You guys were looking like you may have to have to punt, and all of a sudden you were wide open down the down the seam, I believe, and you just uh, outran the defense into the end zone there. What uh, what'd you see on that play? Uh, I just saw green grass, so I took it and ran. I'd like to thank my quarterback for that, for throwing a tough ball, like perfectly, right into my hands. And then from then on, it was just speed again. And uh, moving over here to Jackson, uh, you had a really good game, over 120 yards receiving and a couple of touchdowns as well. Um, what went into your performance? I, I know uh, you guys focus a lot on the running game, but you try to balance it out with the passing game offensively. But uh, what, what went through your mind um, on those two touchdowns? Um, I was just trying to get off the tacklers, I guess. And... I had a lot of good blockers on my way. I saw green grass, so speed, honestly, like Richard said. Yeah, a good quarterback, put it on me. It ends up in a touchdown. And so, yeah, you guys both with two touchdowns in the game. Um, what was your what was your thoughts uh, when uh, – when Richard took that to the house on the first opening kickoff, uh, did you guys think that it was going to kind of go the way it did, or were you uh, still thinking it could be a good game? Um, right as right as I saw him running in the touchdown, I was like, oh, yeah, this game's going to be really good. As, and we score right away. That's, that's what we feel on. Uh, any other thoughts uh, from this game? Uh, defensively, you guys played really well, too, and uh, were able to hold Tayden Brown down uh, pretty well. 
um, and uh, he's he's a really good uh, rusher for Clorinda. Um, what are your thoughts defensively on uh, what went into maybe the game plan and how you guys executed that? We'll start with Richard. Uh, <clears throat> it started at the beginning of the week with uh, a good game plan from Coach. Uh, he had it said that we were going to stop him and all, and we did just that tonight. Um, good game plan by Coach, of course, but I think it was good that we stuck to our base defense, did what we know did what we know we can do right, and we just performed. Very good, gentlemen. Well, congrats on the win, and uh, you are the KMA Sports Players of the Game. Thank you. Thank you. All right. For K